All right, so I tested um, the 65 grain soft points with Ramshot Tack. Um, this one was a uh, failure to fire, and I pulled to verify the powder charge. Uh, there was one group that, oh, there was potential there, except for the two that didn't want a group. They decided to go off on their own over here a little bit, you know. For the other three were just touching. Yeah, that's frustrating. <laughs> I mean, the group wasn't huge, but it was. You could have been, you know, those three together are like point uh, seven, I think. <laughs> so yeah, it was ah so close yet. Yeah, couple didn't want to cooperate. They wanted to go out. Be by themselves. <laughs> Not joining with the crowd. Uh, now these. Oh, let's see. Well, I, I thought. Well, let's back up to these. Um, I stopped here. Uh, it was 58 degrees, 71% humidity, and it looked like dusk all day. And these looked like they were starting to get a bit shiny. And there's one I can feel burr on. But now I look at them in the light. Um, decent lighting. They're not as bad as I thought. Though there is some shine on this one. That's the one with the burr. Ah! A burr to pick and stick in my finger. Well, it's got a little shine on it too. Huh? These four. Um, a couple of these got a little shine, but really not nearly as bad as I thought. And so I may, you know, revisit these two and see where it really stop. Ah, uh, let's see. And these wide points here, um, eh. I'm wondering with these, uh, maybe different powder may act differently. Uh, let's see. I'll roll in targets and um, chrono data. Um, those wide points, there was uh, the first group started to look mm, okay. And then one went left and one went right. And... Uh, Yikes! <laughs> uh, so again, don't know if it was uh, me or the bullets. And well, these definitely think I should make up more and try a wider range. Maybe different powder. There's a couple that hit paper, and I don't know where the other two went. Or three went actually. Um, I only shot four because the first one I wanted to check the chambering. So uh, basically, I, I let it in slow and I didn't let it go in all the way, I, but I didn't realize it. So when I pulled back my charging handle, it didn't extract the bullet. And by that time, I'd come back far enough for it to pick up this one. And then I slipped, and it jammed it into the base of the other bullet and shoved the bullet into the casing a little bit. So I skipped that, you know. I wasn't sure how far. <laughs> and was, these were loaded with 25 grain. Originally, I was going to load it with um, 25.6, same as this one but then I wasn't too sure and I backed off and I'm wondering maybe I needed to go up higher I don't know maybe there just wasn't enough charge because of them being flat but they did chamber fine there's no problem with any of these chambering ah uh, just you know running them out of the mag so you know that part was cool anyway like I said, some wild groups, and 
I think what I need to do is <coughs> excuse me, put a layer of paper. What oh, there's is there's at the range there's a steel frame and they slide plywood in there and you know a staple too. Um the one I'm using it'll take two four by eight sheets of plywood. I've got one in there and though I was the first one to put any holes in it last week um, if I miss my target, it's somewhere on there and, you know, is it mine? Is it not? What I think I need to do is take like, I don't know, maybe the, the packing paper from, you know, they send those, you know, and they pack it and they put the, the sheets, long sheets of, uh, packing paper in there, maybe line it with that and then put my targets over that so that I can at least see if I hit plywood or in the case of one of these two groups one of them I don't think even went within the frame I'm not sure but I shot it it usually you know they go through and I don't see anything till I walk up check I look behind and you can see a row of where been hitting well this one up and to the left i see a poof of uh sand <laughs> so that baby whew, <laughs> it was way off uh usually i don't see these kinds of things but that one i did so something went very awry with that uh, round whether it boot part in the air or for some reason you know somewhere along the line it went off on its own tangent and didn't play well so yikes <laughs> uh, i have to look at the the chrono data i don't remember where i was pushing them i think they're they were somewhere around 2800 2850 somewhere around there if i recall but I'm not sure. I'll roll all that in and, yeah, <laughs> get to see that. But also, uh, going back to last week, uh, these, let's see, the um, 60 grain flat base with precision and the tactical. Um, I didn't run any pressure problems, so I was going to go two more. I ran out of daylight, so I happened, because I did these over here first. And I was going to go two... I can't went prepared. I was going to reshoot my last four targets, and then go two more, because I didn't run, any, run into any pressure problems. But that didn't happen. Um... What did happen is we got to the range and there's brass everywhere, lots of two two three brass, and it rained most of the week, and I'm like, oh crap, we're pulling in. I look, I go, yeah, I see my targets out there, and then I saw all that. I'm like, oh, bah, this isn't gonna be well. And I walk out there, and there are no extra holes in my target. The paper is in decent shape and there's just a minimum amount of ink run so i was able to salvage those and scan them and you'll see me at the end you can tell which ones they are <laughs> so last two pages of uh, this one so that was good because i don't have to have to reshoot them and you know like i said uh, the day was it looked like dusk all day, so, you know, I'm sure it didn't help my shooting at all. <laughs> it is not great. There were some that weren't too bad, though. So, oh, uh, which one is it? I think it's this one or this one. Um, in the chrono data, I forgot to back out of... Uh, archive mode so they're run together so i had to do the math and you know edit it in uh another one i pulled to verify powder charge just to see um i can't remember which which 
box it was. Now there's two groups where the uh, the velocities are really wonky. I don't know what happened. If I mixed up the charges or what, but I don't see how. But yeah, like a really slow one or a really fast one. <laughs> But I put them in one row at a time as I go, so I don't know how the heck that would have happened. Something, something odd happened, and that's all I can say about that. <laughs> this the precision. Um, you'll see that it starts out the targets labeled number two, and that's because the first target, these first two groups, I was low, and so I just you know. Set that one aside. It wasn't worth, you know, two or three, hit the paper. <laughs> I had to come up a bit with my scope. I was really, really surprised that they were that, that far off. So I had, I had to adjust things, you know, either up or down, left or right, you know, as I went with some of these, because you know the uh, the point of impact shifted a bit on some of them, so I had to dial things in a few times instead of just going with it and seeing where it goes. Not you know you're into the next target or well into the next target kind of thing. You go, mm, yeah, no, let me dial that back a bit. So. Yeah, uh, I'll roll all that in and make of it what you will. And I'll see you next time. God bless.